Hey there. Welcome back to video number two in the series about um, everything you wanted to know about Lightroom catalogs. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about what is the best solution for you when it comes to keeping a Lightroom catalog. Is it for you to have one catalog where you keep all of your photo sessions and weddings and everything that photo related? Um, or is it better for you to have a separate catalog for every wedding or session? Um, or is it better to have maybe a little bit of a hybrid method where you maybe make one catalog? per month or one catalog per year or something along those lines. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do all of that um, in addition to talking about which system might be best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my sample Lightroom catalog. So this is my sample 2017 Lightroom catalog um, that we're going to use just for these the sake of these tutorials. Um, and as you can see in this catalog here, um, I have some sample images of my own that I've just added for, you know, sake of the tutorial. And I have them separated out into different, um, uh, you know, settings, I guess, over or categories over here based on what the actual um, session could have been. Now, of course, these are different people. This is not, you know an accurate view of what would normally happen. Uh, this is just for the sake of the tutorial, but I have, you know, the different sessions over here, or you can view all the photographs um, in your Lightroom catalog. Now, a lot of people start out um, adding just all their sessions into one catalog. Um, that's very common for most people to do, and there's nothing wrong with that. But over time, you might find that your Lightroom catalog starts to get a little slow, um, or just taking a long time to render photos, etc. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but the bigger your catalog gets, um, the more that's going to happen. So it does make sense sometimes to delineate your Lightroom catalogs based on other things. Um, you could have one catalog for all weddings or one catalog for all family sessions, or there's a hundred different ways you could do it. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to show you how to have one catalog per session. Um, and also maybe how to create uh, one catalog per year or one catalog per month. You could do that as well. Um, and really, it's all about how to just create those new catalogs and then your organization behind where you save them. Um, so in this instance, we have all of our you know current sessions in one catalog. So let's say I wanted to import um, a new session um, into its own catalog, just a catalog by itself. So the way that we would do that is we would go to file up here next to Lightroom, new catalog. And this is going to pull up a little dialog box. And the first thing it's going to ask you is where do you want to save this catalog file? Um, so again, we're not going to get too much into, you know, a uh, real deep organization and how you should organize things. Um, but I'm a big fan of keeping your catalog either in Dropbox um, or keeping it near the raw folders um, that are going to be going into that catalog. So um, let's, for the sake of this tutorial, I have on my desktop here, I have this Lightroom sample folder. So let's go ahead and create the catalog in that folder. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to save this catalog and we're just going to, for the sake of this, um, for this video here, we're going to create a new catalog for Brad and Jillian. So I'm actually going to save this new catalog in this file folder where the raw files are. And I'm going to call it 2017 Brad Jillian. And that's basically all I need to do. So I've named the catalog and at this I've told Lightroom where I'm going to save it at. So and now I'm going to say create. And then what Lightroom is going to do, it's going to close the current catalog that was open and it's going to open that brand new catalog that you just created. You'll see it give you those little prompts that says Lightroom opening catalog 2017 Brad and Jillian. And it's going to open a brand new catalog for you that's just clean and empty. It doesn't have anything in it. Um, so the biggest question that I get is when you create a new catalog, does it save your presets that you had, you know, in the first catalog? And the answer to that is yes. So if I were to click on the develop, you will see all of the different presets that I have added, you know, over the histories. So you don't have to worry about adding presets into every single new catalog. So in the once I'm back in the library, you can tell right here where your catalog, what your catalog you're actually in by the name up here at the top. And from here, I would go ahead and import those photos from Brad and Jillian's session. Let me see if I can find them here. Desktop, Lightroom sample, 
Brad and Jillian. So it's going to show me those raw files that are in there. And then I would just import those right into the catalog. And then I could do whatever I wanted with them. Um, just like I would in, you know, the other catalog that I was using. It all works the same way, but you just now made a new catalog that only has these photos. So you can say, see here that there was 12 photos in this folder. And now this catalog only has 12 folders in it or 12 files in it. Just these 12 pictures right here. So let's go ahead and close that. And I just want to show you where that catalog created. So if we're in this Lightroom sample and we look in Brad and Jillian, we see this new folder that is now here that has the catalog associated with it. So that's how you would create a brand new catalog if you wanted to make maybe say a new catalog per every wedding, which is very common. A lot of people do have one catalog per wedding um, or if you wanted to create maybe one catalog for the next year. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, let's go back to our main um, 2017 Lightroom catalog and I'm going to open that catalog from the catalog file itself. Um, and if you're not familiar with how to do that, you can just access the catalog file, right click open with whichever version of Lightroom you're currently using. So I'm currently using uh, the latest version of Photoshop Lightroom Classic CC, which is what I definitely recommend um, for all photographers to use. So now this is going to open that 2017 Lightroom catalog. We can tell that very easily by the name up here at the top. So let's say, you know, 2017 is over and now it's 2018, which it is. Um, and we wanted to create a 2018 Lightroom catalog for all of our 2018 sessions. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to click File, New Catalog. It's going to ask us where we want to put that. So we're going to put it in the same place. We're going to go to the desktop. We're going to go to Lightroom sample and we're just going to put it in here this time um, so that it'll be kind of right next to this, this uh, 2017 file. So we're going to say 2018 Lightroom catalog. And again, you could name this whatever you choose, um, but I like to be as clear as possible when I'm naming things so that I know exactly what I'm dealing with. So then I'm going to click create. And again, it's going to go through the process of closing that old catalog and opening the new one. You'll see that it says 2018 Lightroom catalog up here at the top. And then you can go ahead and start importing your 2018 sessions. So if we close out of Lightroom here and we open this Lightroom sample, you'll see that that 2018 folder has been created right next to the 2017 folder. And that's where the new catalog is. So that is how you would go about creating different catalogs for different um, either sessions, weddings, different work that you're doing, or if you want to create, you know, let's say you wanted to create a catalog per month. Instead of having the years here, you could have 2017 January Lightroom catalog, 2017 February Lightroom catalog, and you could do it that way as well. I don't necessarily recommend doing that because it might be hard to find things um, if you do it by month, and unless you're shooting a lot, um, if you're shooting like over 30 sessions a month, um, it might be helpful to do that just to keep your catalogs um, working really well. Um, but I definitely recommend either having a yearly catalog or maybe a six month catalog um, or a catalog per wedding that you do. And the, and the reason I say that is because weddings tend to have more images in them, you know, upwards of a thousand, two thousand images in them. And so sometimes it can be easier to use um, one catalog per wedding. So I hope you found that uh, very helpful. We're going to be talking about lots more things with the catalog, about importing and exporting in the next few videos. So stay tuned.